Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be, well, we're gonna be looking, looking at one of my, oh my gosh, one of my all time favorite, favorite, absolute favorite Bandai creations. This one is amazing, and I'm sure you guys are gonna like it too. So, um, here we go. Oh, dang it, he fell. I. The Bandai creation, King. Caesar. Oh yeah. Just just look at him. How who would have known? Like I, even I am stunned. I didn't even know they sold King Caesar's in this Bandai creation like package, like the box package like the uh, what I call the Godzilla, the Bandai Godzilla package basically. How like I seriously got it in G Fest and it was its feet were strapped to the thing, like everything. So, the, but they don't sell these anymore, like in stores or anything. So this is like a really, um, kind of a really rare thing. Um, but this is an amazing figure. And you know, let me uh, take, get away from the box. But um, this is an amazing figure. I, I got this guy for thirty-five dollars, which is not bad for King Caesar, because they usually go will go for like fifty or seventy or forty. Nope, oh, I'm having trouble getting the stand. There we go. Um, this is an amazing figure. Oh my gosh, I just love him. I love him. I was not, I was originally not going to review him because I said I was going to do all the Final Wars figures. But I was thinking since this guy's a Bandai creation and he looks a bit more like he fits in the Final Wars thing, like more of the fa Final Wars action figures than the, um, 70s action figures, and I guess we'll just go. So I guess we'll just um, review him here. Besides, I really like this guy, and I really want to get on the get it, like review him right now because he is uh, so cool. Um, let's get on the movement because I we always start off with that arms, just like my uh, Godzilla, um, Godzilla Final Wars review. Um, arms go. Almost like that. So he's got more of a like arms really don't do much. You can't like do a like an up and down thing like a claw attack. But of course, I can understand because it kind of hinges. Because it would be difficult to do that with his nice with the really nice detail in his hair. But um, this one actually can't go as far as the other one because of the hair at the um um at the uh, um. Elbow? No, not that. Not the elbow. Like, uh, wait. I think it is the elbow. Ah, I'm. I somehow I confuse the elbow with wrist. Yeah. Okay. So it is the elbow. Okay. Yeah. Um, tail rotates three sixties. Um, it kind of skids the ground a little bit. But um, there we go. Oh, and I hear a train outside. That's just great. First. You hear the noise in the background, then it's my cat now. It's a train. I don't know if you guys can hear. I don't know if the, my, cam like my camera is really that sensitive to hearing things. It would be nice if it could, because for music videos I make, you know, it's kind of really difficult to get the sound going through, you know. Oh, man. But, um, anyways, oh, and legs. Legs can, I think they can do 360s, can they? Yes, they can, but it kind of gets a bit bumpy with the hair. Oh, and the um, hip is uh, 360s. And this is a really cool thing. It's a bit tight, but his ears will go 360s. And so then he can go in his really angry mode. So you got the normal King Caesar, then to the really angry King Caesar. And, um,. Of course, this is something you do not want to do all the time because it's really hard. I don't think they're actually designed to bend all the way. So you got to be careful with that to make sure he doesn't do that very often. So I'm going to actually turn the map back because I really do not want his ears to fall off. This is a amazing figure. Yeah. I'm not going to do that anymore because he, I really, he is, um, in fact, the ears are kind of starting to fall off a little bit doing that. So, yeah, really really be careful but um so yeah um I guess we'll get on with detail we'll start off with really good detail on his 
face. He got the night, and he's got like look at that. Once again, really shiny quality. All shine everywhere. He's got really nice scales, the hair, and um the ears, like the little patches. Like he looks so cool. This is an amazing King Caesar figure. Nice teeth, like the eyes, crown. It would be nice if they can color in the crown at top, like you know, so there's that little blue ball. There's also some um, little balls on his head, but they're not colored in blue, so that's kind of a shame for that. But guess what, guys? The the nails are n are actually hand painted. Yes, nails are hand painted. They are not spray painted. There's nothing spray painted. These are all this is all hand painted, which is amazing. So um, movement is pretty good. Movement movement is actually I would say a. Um, size comparison. Actually, what would no wait? Detail is an A. Actually, an A plus. Um, size comparison now. Um, we'll do the guys that he was, that he was um with when they were going up against Godzilla. So we got this batch of characters. Um, looks really good. We didn't really get much of a intel on how big they were. Where is my? Okay, here he is. Okay, so um. So yeah, I think it works really good with Anguirus and Rodian. Looks really nice. But um, let's see how he is with Godzilla, and it looks pretty good. Like he is, again, this Godzilla is really small, so I can't really be angry for this guy being too tall, because he's fine with Rodian and Anguirus, so he's kind of, it's Godzilla that kind of um, puts it down, but it's still very small, and I think they kind of, pushed it a bit too much with King Caesar's eyes because his eyes are like huge compared to Godzilla's like it's really difficult to compare a lizard with like a dog thing because that's kind of like their eyes and their m mouth are going to be really different so it's kind of so it's kind of weird these things don't really look like they're oh they don't look like they're in they come from the same exact world so it's kind of a like that's the thing about King Caesar he's so strange looking so it's kind of hard when you have a toys like this he really doesn't go well like he doesn't look right with all the Godzilla characters doesn't look good with Gamera doesn't look good with Ultraman but um that's all I gotta say for my King Caesar but um so next time we have one more figure to review and then we're going on to actually you know what I might as well just start it today yeah today we'll be starting off with Godzilla Daikaiju Battle Royale. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. We're gonna be starting off that let's play, so please watch it. If you guys are watching it right you guys are probably like watching if you guys are watching this right now, I'll probably already be starting starting the video, so go watch it. It's like go on my YouTube channel and you should find it. It'll say Godzilla Daikaiju Battle Royale Part One. It will not don't it will not just say that or just two or anything so don't like look for um anything like that because I did kind of do like a walkthrough sort of thing before but that's not really we want a let's play where I'm like commenting on all the things and I miss these old things like do you guys miss the um this like do you guys remember when they used to sell Godzilla to Bandai Creation Godzilla toys in this background but now they don't do that anymore. Now it's just this Japanese style one, which I actually like this one way better because there's like there's King Ghidorah and Rodan, there's Gigan, and the back is just so awesome. Do they still sell that Death Astoria? I th oh I think they do, but he's just like I don't. Know. I think I'm gonna get that figure. I think I will. Header I'm not gonna get because there's a better header toy than that. But, um, of course, on here there is Gigan. Godzilla actually fighting him. But, still, I enjoy these ones way better. Alright. So, that's it. I guess we'll be getting rid of the set because... Next toy I'm actually... You know what? Actually, you know what? Never mind. That toy I said I was going to review for the Final Wars trilogy. Never mind about that. So, so I guess that was it. Thanks, guys, for watching my hey, reviews on the Godzilla Final Wars figures. Tell me what you want me to review next because I don't 
have to keep on, I don't have to like go in order from Final Wars figures to the Tokyo SLS figures. Like I don't have to do that. But it was fun reviewing all these guys, especially Guy Gan and like, like, um, and then there was that one time, like, when I was reviewing my little, like, my little guys, and they were just, ugh, they, my cat was bothering my video. But, um, so I, yeah. That was it. The Godzilla Final Wars review. So this is my Final Wars collection. I don't have Monster X. Nor do I have Kaiser Ghidorah. Well, I sort of do, but we'll see about that. So, see you guys later. Like, comment, and subscribe.